Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my top 10 fragrance recommendations for a gift for men. <laughs> so the 10 on this list, they're kind of in no particular order really. Uh, I just kind of base these on like what I would suggest. Again, all these ones on the list, they're super safe. So I don't think if you gift this to someone, they can really dislike. If you want to spend less than $20, less than $50, less than $100, then I've got you covered for all occasions. If you guys are new to the channel and you are a fan of fragrances and you're not just buying them as a gift, then please don't forget to drop a like in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe as well. We're growing a great fragrance community. We talk about fragrances way too much on this channel. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, then please feel free to subscribe. Okay, so top 10 fragrance gift ideas. These ones I thought I would include uh, make them safe, make them kind of fresh and clean so that no one can really dislike them. The 10 on this list are kind of all signature scents. So if you only need to wear one fragrance and the person that you are gifting this to is going to be the kind of one fragrance they wear, all of the ones on this list are going to cover you for that. So the 10 I've chosen are just really great fragrance recommendations for a gift. So we're going to kick things off in the number 10 spot. This one I've included here because it's a little bit synthetic, but it is also very, very cheap. And uh, it is great, in my opinion. It's a clone of Dior Sauvage, which is a very popular fragrance, and Invictus by Paco Rabanne, which are both really popular designer fragrances. And this thing mashes them both together, and it does it in such a way that it takes the best bits of both fragrances and it just makes it an absolute beast. It's this one here from the house of Armarf, and it's called Hunter Intense. So like I said, it's a little bit synthetic, I'll be honest. It's very fresh, it's very clean. It's got the main note of Ambroxan in here, so it's gonna last you a very, very long time. A little bit like shower gel, and it's only 20 pounds for 100 ml. Uh, if you're starting out in fragrances too, this is a great fragrance recommendation. So coming in at the number 10 spot is Armarf's Hunter Intense. Okay, coming in at the number nine spot, if you want something a little bit more refined, a little bit soapy, then this is a great fragrance recommendation. It's from the house of YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, and it's this one here, Lom. So Lom, I can describe this, smells just like a freshly run bubble bath. And it's from YSL, so it's a little bit more expensive than uh, Hunter Intense. I think you can get this for about uh, 40 to 60 pounds for 100 ml. And oh, it is good. This thing, I wore this as my signature scent for a very, very long time starting out in fragrances. And you can see just how much I've used of this bottle. And it's just really, really good. I know that one of my friends uh, actually decided to purchase this for himself for Christmas, his own kind of gift, if you will. And yeah, it is a great signature scent. Coming in at the number nine spot for a gift is YSL Lom. Coming in at the number eight spot, this one is a little bit more pricey. It's one of the cheaper designer fragrances, a little bit like YSL's Lom, but this one is so, so good. I've got amazing reactions with this thing. Uh, compliments, it just smells great. Uh, it's very shower gel smelling. And it's this one here from the house of Versace. And it's this one, Dylan Blue. So Dylan Blue, it's got the note of patchouli, which is a little bit like, um, like a kind of dirty, dirty leaf sort of smell, basically. And I really enjoy it. It's got the note of Ambroxan in here, and it just smells like fresh shower gel with a little bit of like incense stuff uh, and a little bit dirty as well. So really good. Like I said, it gets me great reactions and it's super safe if you were to give this as a gift to someone. And thinking about it, you can get like gift set to this thing. So that would actually be perfect. Uh, and it's just a great fragrance. So coming in at the number eight spot is Versace. Dylan Blue. Coming in at the number seven spot, this one, whenever I get asked what fragrance should I pick up for my first fragrance, I always suggest this one because it's probably the cheapest one on this list. It also smells like a very, very expensive high-end niche fragrance, which is worth over uh, 250 pounds. And the one that we are talking about is this one here, Mont Blanc Individual. So this smells like fresh fabric softener uh, with raspberries, and it's just so sweet, so clean. And like I said, it smells like a 250 pound fragrance. The one that we're talking about, the thing that this thing smells similar to is Creed's original Santal. So this actually came out before the House of Creed, uh, before they actually decided to basically copy this fragrance. And this thing is just so, so good. It's so cheap. It's probably the cheapest one 
on this list. I think I got this 50 mil bottle for £12. So <laughs> it just says a lot about this thing. And yeah, this is great for the office. That's kind of mainly when I wear this thing. But it's so safe that you can kind of just spray it on with any kind of clothing. Uh, and it's just great. And I don't think anyone can read this like this. It is a little bit synthetic, but the smell of it is nice enough. So coming in at the number seven spot is Mont Blanc Individual. Okay, coming in at the number six spot. This one uh, is a little bit different to the other ones where this one's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit heavier. It's a little bit kind of more cozy. The ones that I've shown you so far have been kind of fresh, kind of uplifting smells. This one is a little bit more of like a warm, uh, warm and sweet fragrance. And it's this one here, Lataffa Camera. So this one is actually quite cheap as well. You can get 100 mil for about 30 pounds. And this fragrance smells amazing. Uh, if you are buying this for someone as a gift and they smell it, this is just perfect if like they only want to wear it for like a special occasion. If they want to go out like party and stuff like that or if they go out to like a, a special meal it smells like dates pralines it's like a sweet sticky smell really really sweet uh, but i absolutely love this one and it gets great reactions as well and i don't think that like the kind of general public can dislike this fragrance i think it's also unisex too i can definitely see a female wearing this too so coming in at the number six spot really cool bottle design too is Lataffa Camera. Coming in at the number five spot, another cheap one, another clone. This is a clone of Creed's Green Irish Tweed, I think. Uh, it does smell a little bit like Davidoff Cool Water, which again is actually another good, um, a good gift idea. But if you wanted something a little bit different to that, then get this one, Armaf Trainui. This one, you can get 100 mil for 20 pounds, probably one of, again, the cheapest ones on this list. If I were to buy a gift for someone who's never had a fragrance before and they want uh, to get into fragrances, if this is for like anyone between the ages of, let's say, uh, from a teenager all the way up to like 30, then this thing is great. It's a very light, fresh lemon smell. This is a very bright, zingy kind of lemon, lemon grass. Uh, it smells a little bit like freshly cut grass. Uh, and if you've ever smelled Davidoff Cool Water, that is essentially what this is. Uh, it's just in a different packaging, basically, with a really nice note of lemon. I really, really enjoy this one, and it's only £20. So coming in at the number five spot is Armaf Trainui. Coming in at the number four spot, this one is probably one of the higher end on this list. I think it's the second most expensive one that I'm going to recommend. Um, this one... I absolutely love. If you've got a little bit more money to spend, if this is for like, your significant other or something, then I would recommend you pick up this. Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. This thing smells so, so classy. This thing you can wear for anything, and it's a perfect signature scent. Uh, go out to the department store and try this thing. Let me know what you think. I love this thing. It's my girlfriend's favorite fragrance, and I can't recommend this one enough. It's a perfect gift fragrance, in my opinion, and in the fragrance community, this is considered to be like one of the best from the house of Chanel, one of the best designer fragrances in general. So yeah, coming in at the number four spot is Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. The only reason why it's a little bit further down the list is just because of the price tag. Coming in at the number three spot, this one is the most expensive on this list. This is what is called a niche fragrance. So you've got designer fragrances, which are things like Chanel, which also make clothing and fragrances but you've also got niche fragrances. So this fragrance is a niche fragrance and they only make fragrance. And that is this one here, coming in at the number three spot. It's from the house of Perfumes de Mali and it's called Percival. So this Percival just smells like, a little bit like Abercrombie and Finch Fierce. It's quite synthetic. It's got a very uh, kind of deodorant body wash sort of smell, very fresh and clean, very blue smelling, uh, very uplifting. It's got the main notes of bergamot, a little bit of pepper in here, I think, as well. And also there's a bit of lavender in here, too. But if I can just describe this thing in a few words, it just smells fresh, clean shower gel. It's super safe. If you've got a little bit of money to spend, it's the perfect gift fragrance because it's so safe and it smells so good. Coming in at the number two spot, this one just misses out because I feel like it's a little bit overdone. Uh, if you've ever smelled Mont Blanc Explorer, if you've ever smelled Creed Aventus, which, like we want about niche fragrances, is the most popular niche fragrance. And uh, this one is actually a clone of it. And you can pick this up on Amazon, you can pick it up anywhere really. It's this one here, 
arm off, clubbed in a wee intense man. And this one here is the limited edition. So the limited edition one just smells a little bit nicer. You can also get just a normal one. It comes in like a black bottle and it looks just like this. But in my opinion, the limited edition one is just slightly more refined and it's just a great treat of Entus Globe. Great performance, great reactions, uh, and just a perfect gift in my opinion. If you're a fan of Creed Aventus or you've heard a lot about Creed Aventus, give this thing a go. Club de Nuit, Intense Man. Probably one of the best clones out there for Creed Aventus. And just before we get on the number one spot, guys, please don't forget to drop a like on this video if you found it helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are a fan of fragrances. And coming in at the number one spot is this one here, Versace Pour Homme. So this is like fresh, clean water. It's the perfect gift fragrance, in my opinion. You can't go wrong with it. No one can dislike it. It's so safe. It smells a little bit like this one here from Chanel. It's a much cheaper version. You can get this 100 ml. I've got two bottles of this thing. I got both of these for, uh, I think, for like 20 pounds each. So 40 pounds in total, and I've got 200 ml. I think this thing comes in a gift set too. And it's just, in my opinion, the perfect gift fragrance. No one can dislike it. So thank you guys all for watching this video. Please don't forget to drop a like. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you guys also have any fragrance uh, gift suggestions. I'd be more than happy to see what you guys come up with. Uh, these are just the 10 that I thought worked perfectly for a gift. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.